Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to do a book review of The Other Americans by Layla Lalami. And if you guys watched my last month wrap up, this was one of the books that was talked about and I said I wanted to deeper dive into it to give you a review. So here it is. This book is centered around the death of a character named Driss. He was the victim of a hit and run. The author in this book um, tells the perspective in multiple different voices. You have nine complete different voices and they're all from different backgrounds, even though four of those nine voices are all related. Essentially, it centers around Driss, who was killed in the hit and run, who is the father of Nora and Salma, who are two sisters who have completely different viewpoints of this. And then also Miriam, who was his wife, who has a different viewpoint from this. Additional to that, you have two cops, one of them Copeland, who was an African-American woman, and also um, Jeremy, who was a friend of Nora's, or an estranged friend. And then you have Efron, who he is an undocumented immigrant. Um, he doesn't have any papers, and he witnesses the hit and run, run. So he has a dilemma of, does he report this or say anything? Because he doesn't want to put his status at risk. And then you also have AJ and Anderson, who are father and son, and they are white Americans, and they have a viewpoint of very conservative and flat out racist, honestly, um, views. So it's interesting seeing all of those different perspectives and also no racist says, hey, I'm racist, you know, so it's interesting to see in the mind of how they process all this stuff. None of it's really necessarily like shocking and what's really interesting is none the book isn't told with any judgment of any of these characters because every part of the book is told from that person's perspective. So it's kind of like, you know, you're in the mind of someone who doesn't really see things the same way that you would see them. So that aspect I really did enjoy. There were some aspects that I didn't really like. So how about we talk about some of the things that I didn't like and then get into the things that I loved. One thing was not all of the characters have resolution. Granted, in life, we don't all have resolution, but at least it would have been nice to know where some of these different characters end up. We got enough of, I guess, a completion to know how things turned out. But on some of the characters that you were very, well, I was very much engaged with, I didn't really get to hear how their story unfolded in regards to this whole scenario. To me, there was one big cliffhanger that was left within that book, and it was surrounding uh, I don't know if I should say who it was surrounding because if you haven't read the book, I don't want to spoil it. But it was surrounding one character in particular that I really wanted to know more about how all of this affected them. Secondly, something that um, it's not a huge gripe and it's hard when you're doing nine different voices. I feel like the author did an amazing job. But with Copeland, I think primarily because I am black and, you know, she's a black woman. Some of her blind spots, granted we all have blind spots, some of them just didn't align with that of someone who is just a black woman who's just, like I get that she could probably represent some demographic out there, but I think the majority of black people, it's like what, when I was reading her like thoughts of a person, I'm like, oh my God, clearly like, no, that's not how someone who has dealt with race their entire life would perceive something. So those were my two main gripes. Things that I loved about the book, I loved the deep dive into the characters. I felt like I say, you know, I didn't enjoy some of the character readings, but overall, I really did enjoy the different pieces of the life. I never felt like this was confusing or too all over the place. I felt somehow the story just flowed beautifully. I would say for the majority of the book, I couldn't even really put it down. The time just flies by because you're so engaged into the lives of these different people and also want to know what exactly happened. Was Driss's death an accident or was this something more? One of the things I enjoyed most was you got to get into relationships and how we all relate to one another. Hearing the story or the perspective of Miriam, who was the mother, as well as Driss, who was the deceased father, to hear their perspectives on one, their marriage, as well as their children, as well as their life prior to his death is very interesting because it's interesting how you can have a completely different experience when you're having the same events happen in your life. That's always intriguing to me. And that kind of ties into what I really enjoyed about this story is you go into it feeling like this is more so of a mystery but I felt like while reading this the title made 
even more sense, the other Americans, because it's really centering around American life and how we have all these different American experiences and calling someone the other American, like I feel like the author did that intentionally because primarily for two of the characters, the way they view people who are other, essentially, other than them are other Americans or other something else that's not there, not even realizing them themselves they are other Americans. Like, you know, we all arrived on this land, you know, while someone else was already here. And some of us by choice and some of us by force, you know? Um, But I think the author does a good job of not even putting their voice, like the author's voice isn't in it, but it's the voice from these different perspectives, depending on what side of the fence you are on. Also, I would love if someone has read the book for us to talk below so we could talk about this because the relationship between Nora and Jeremy was interesting, especially when thing there's a point in the book where things kind of escalate, at least they escalate for me, um, for certain comments that Jeremy's friend made and also current certain comments that he's made in the past. And it's just interesting on those. And I don't know if he ever fully recognized the extent or the gravity of those comments or looking past those comments or looking past those treatments. It's interesting to show and how being passive or not calling out offenses, you're just as to blame when you are turning a blind eye, essentially, in some of these grievances, um, whether it affects you directly or not. So in conclusion, um, clearly I really enjoyed this book. I think I gave it four stars on Goodreads and it is a solid four star. Like this is literary fiction at its prime, at its best. The story is so engaging. Every page you are just flipping through. While it's going on, although you really wanna know what happened with this hit and run, it becomes even more important for you to understand the relationships that these characters have to one another, which I think that is just brilliantly done. And the fact that it's jumping through all these different voices and also different parts of the timeline within the story, and it doesn't feel all over the place, is a credit to how good of a writer the author is. I definitely think you should read it. It is, again, an amazing piece of work. I would love to continue this conversation below. So as always, let's go ahead and continue talking about it below. If you've read the book, let's get into more details. We could put like spoiler alert or something like that. Um, But yeah, love and light guys. I'll stop yapping and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.